everyone welcome to learning impact in today lecture we will discuss difference between formal socialization and informal socialization so let's start socialization as we know that is the learning process through which we internalize the norms of our society what does it mean by formal and informal socialization formal socialization refers to structure and intentional process that transmits societal norms and values Formal socialization, as its name indicates, formal means that it must have some sort of formal setting within which an individual learn about the norms. It must have some sort of rules and regulation and regulated environment within which an individual learn. For example, if we take the school education in which there is a some sort of structure, instru instructions, and regulated environment. they have some set of curriculum and students attend class they interact with teacher and learn about different subjects so this is a formal socialization which occur within the some structure instructions and regulated environment but in case of the informal socialization it refers to it refers to learning through casual and unstructured interaction which happen in our everyday life for example if we take the family dinner in which there is a family interaction the members interact naturally they share stories also maybe some jokes so this is based on the unstructured interaction or the casual interaction which is called informal socialization then process in case of the formal socialization there is a structured and intentional process which is based on some set of rules and regulation and formal setting and also regulated environment but in case of the informal socialization it is based on casual and unstructured setting an informal environment for example child uh, children they learn about respecting elders through observing that how fa family members engage in conversation so now this observation that how family members are engaging in conversation it is based on casual and unstructured in everyday life observation so this could be the this is a process of the informal socialization then agents in case of the formal socialization it could occur through educator mentors or institution which is some which has some sort of formal setting uh, for example if we take institutions like military training if we take every individual has some defined role of defense so this is some it is a formal institution but in case of the informal socialization it occur through family which is informal through family members peers or friends this is the informal institution uh in case of the family members for example an individual learn about uh, a children learn about uh they learn about respecting elders through observing that how family members engage in conversation this is the example of the of, uh, of the learning through family members or for example if an individual they have some sort of social circle and peers or friends they learn about how to behave in different circumstances while uh, within a social circle this is the informal socialization then instruction in case of the formal socialization the instruction based on the explicit teaching of norms and values their focus is to teach norms and rules and regulation that is according to that institution or formal setting for example if someone has joined a formal organization that they, uh, it may be related to business or government institution that is a formal organization have some sort of rules and regulation and guidelines so every individual have to learn about that before joining that organization in case of the informal it is based on observation and imitation children they observe their uh, elders in the family institution and then imitate them in their everyday life then difference in case of the formal socialization content 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 are maybe curriculum if we take education institution which is a set of curriculum which has been approved by the government institution so it is a formal or maybe rules and regulation which are the for example rules and regulation of any company an individual want to join they have some their own standards and rules so this is the formal content or the formal socialization in case of the informal the it is based on the behavior for example an individual they learn about how to interact with elders by imitating their elders also uh, they learn about language and social norm that how to interact within a society how to interact uh, while uh, in different social situations so these all are the examples of the informal socialization also an individual a child learn a language from their uh, mother or from their parents they learn about their mother language or native language so this is the informal socialization then purpose 
Formal socialization purpose is to prepare an individual for specific rules. Uh, for example, if we discuss the, um, as we discussed that educators, if let's suppose take example of education institution, they teach academic knowledge and this academic knowledge is based upon an individual uh, interest. For example, as I'm, I have studied sociology in my university, this was a formal socialization. Uh, because they prepare me for becoming a specific role which was sociology lecturer is uh, I study sociology for that purpose so formal socialization helps an individual to uh, to get the specific role which, which they want to aspire but in case of the informal socialization adaptation uh, the purpose is to adopt an individual to various social situations. They learn about the society norms and they understand how to interact and how to behave while there are different social situations. Then time frame. Time frame in case of the formal socialization is structured, it's rigid, it has some limited time. Uh, for example, if someone has joined any uh, government company, so an individual has to follow the rules and regulations of that company until the company goal has achieved. But in case of the informal, it is ongoing and lifelong process. For example, um, a uh, for example, a child who is learning about the conversation and communication skills in their family, the family, family is the permanent institution because, because it will remain forever until death. So th that's why this socialization is called ongoing and lifelong because friends, social circles and the family institution is something which remain with an individual till death. So this is the ongoing and lifelong process. Then interaction style. In case of the formal socialization, is interaction occurs through structural lessons and assignment, which is based on some sort of rules and regulation. But in case of informal, it is based on natural interaction and conversation, which is, uh, which is based on the everyday conversation. Uh, it may have, for example, uh, in a family, a child learn about language and custom. A child learn about trust, affection, and communication. So these are, are the natural interactions and conversation, the skills we, which are obtained through natural conver uh, conversation and interactions. Then the other difference is, for example, the outcome emphasis. The outcome of the formal socialization is to get the skills, uh, is to acquire the skills which is uh, uh, the basic skills. For example, it may be communication skills. It depends upon that which form of setting an individual has joined. For example, if someone they have joined the, uh, for example, if we take the education institution, the university, which is a form of setting. So one must learn about the how to communicate, how to, uh, for example, in a class setting, how to ask question from teacher, how to respond to teacher question. These are all the communication skills. So it, it, it's, uh, it work on the skills developing, also knowledge acquisition. For example, in case uh, if we take the same example, in class setting, in education institution, it not only the skills which we acquire, but also the knowledge, the particular subject which we want to study, we get the knowledge about that. So this is the formal socialization. In case of the informal, it is its outcome emphasis is social bonding and relationship formation because it is it provides the skills which is based on communication, which is based which is uh, helpful in everyday life conversation. So these are all which help in the social interaction, relationship building, social cohesion, and also that how different communities live together lead to social bonding. For example, in case of the formal socialization example is school education. A workplace training and also could be any formal organization which has some sort of formal steps like in case of the formal organization one has to pass first step is the orientation program which is the overview of organization then they pass through training and development like workshops then role modeling the existing model uh, sorry existing members of the organization they act as a role model and share their experience to individual also the organizational culture, then new members, they understand the organization culture, norms and behavior, and then they perform and collect the feedback and evaluation. So this is the formal process through which an individual pass to learn about the, this organization. But in case of the informal, it is based on family interaction, peer influence, or also the informal organization. Informal organization could be like club or social network. It has some sort of informal steps, like for example, First, an individual, uh, they observe and participate. 
for example any social network first they observe and then participate in that then informal mentoring those who have already joined they mentor them about the uh, these organization and then the they form the informal network like social circles and then they collectively learn about these things uh, along with the other members and then they adopt themselves to changes so these are all the informal organization so this was the end of our lecture it was all about the differences and examples of formal socialization and informal socialization so thank you so much for watching leave your questions in the comment section below and like share and subscribe our channel for latest lectures thank you